Hi, this is Dave Lawrence, designer of Bodoni Casale. So <clears throat> down the page, you're going to find some ways to use it, some different things you can do. I am going to be covering that a, a little bit more in depth um, on some things uh, about where all this stuff comes from, how to use it and all that. But you might have some questions of why, uh, why another Bodoni or... How is this one different from other Bodonis? So, um, so let me tell, just talk a little bit towards that. So as I was going into the rare books rooms and looking at the original masterworks, they were masters of printing, of paper making, of everything. Because Bodoni did not go, he, he was excellence all the way up to here. He did not do anything less than his best. And when I saw those fonts, I thought that they had so much character in them. And I did not see that. So here is the, the title page of that book. And then on the next page, here is, here is some of the, this is Bodoni Casale used for the text of that book, which is actually printed at 24 points or 24 point, 20 points at the font uh, for when you get the digital font. So... When I saw this stuff in person and I just said, whoa, I, I think that this is just better than anything I've seen. Definitely than Bodoni. It didn't have these O's, did not have the, the perfectly straight sides. Things were still curved. Everything had a little bit subtle curves to them. There was no perfectly straight lines. And then I absolutely loved this italic. If... <clears throat> If uh, I don't want to compare this to too much to other things, but if you look at some of the other Bodoni talks, they do not have this much character. So take a look at the, he has these these large notches. See at the D right here the the white the white notches. Look at the A it goes all the way up to there. Then he has notches on underneath the M on these parts and the R there and these little points and all this different character into those that I just thought I had to make this font and make it available for everyone to be able to use. So that is a lot of the reason behind it. So how to use it and it, that makes it different? Well, it, it, uh, it's, it's, this has not been an easy font to design with. Uh, I've designed with this one for a couple years now or so, and He's, it's, it's a little bit tricky to find, but I'm going to show you some of the things that I've found that work for him. So first thing is he looks marvelous on textured paper if you're doing a printing thing. If you put him on gloss, he will still look good. He'll look more like this up here where you see it looks sort of inky into the glossy page. It looks sort of that it was inky on there. Okay, he'll look a little bit like that. Uh, because of the details I had, he won't get as quite as sharp, but he will look sort of inky on gloss. But texture, he really shines. You can, here, let me show you something. This is a printout that I did early on of it, and it's a little bit hard to see on the screen there. But when I printed this out, I thought that this looks like almost metal pressed. I mean, you couldn't really see the, it looks like soft metal press where you, they don't really have the indents. And I thought, wow, how does it look like that? Because I just had printed it on laser. Now, the laser, the, uh, my laser printer has very flat sort of looking toner. So it's not shiny. So that might have added to it. But also the shapes make you feel that this is letter pressed. So not that you really want to trick anyone, but it might be nice. It's it's it could be uh, potentially a money saver or something where you could get still really good results on a job uh, without having to go that extra step of letterpress. Um, and in fact, all, all of our Fumato, our fonts that use Fumato, of, of which this is one, they do work really well to to make you feel that it's letterpressed. Okay, but. When so that's one way to use him, but as I was going, I was and I was making more designs with him, such as this tags and all these different things. I always kept coming back to him of white on black. He is the white 
on black bedoni because most bedonis they have really thin strokes so here on the m these parts will be thin those sometimes they're hairlines and so they're going to start disappearing when you put white on black this is the bedoni that can work like that and um and his characters still look nice because what i've done is i've put in these nice details to make them good at large sizes and we call that the uh, this one has a font spectrum and if you look further down on the page for font spectrum that shows you exactly how it's going to look at different sizes and see even at the small one it, uh, maybe on the video it's going to be triple as small but it's it's still legible okay low so white on black but also low contrast situations where you want to use so you want some elegance of the, the the bedoni elegance in there so take for example this sign this is a fairly low contrast because it's silver so that's it's not is it's not white like white it's not as bright as white and then you have this blue sort of dullish background so those are sort of similar colors there but having these thicker nice serifs but they're not all the way to slab but it's a little bit a little bit a uh, little bit bigger and more just a little bit more robust it's going to show up on signage so that's where i have liked it now this comes you can look down below it has all the features a tons of design features in here i show you about how these the, the bowl joins chisel stems unicase you have to check out this unicase thing this thing is awesome because if i take a big thing of text look at this one over here I take this over here, I just highlight it, I hit this O, or you can go to the side panel if you want, just turn Unicase on, and then all of a sudden, this thing is in Unicase. Now it even looks more Latin than it used to. Okay, I have the punctuation moves up and down, and I also have, this is showing the difference, uh, I have a thick and a thin style of punctuation. Let me see if it lets me get it. So we go up to the side one here, style sets, thin punctuation, turn it off, and then you can see that is the thicker punctuation. And we also have Guillemets. The, the round style was Bodoni's original, but we also have the pointed since that is more normal. We have two types of Ws. This one that I made for English because it doesn't take too much attention because Ws are everywhere, right? And then this one, which is Bodoni's original, which I love for German. And Bodoni's font... They work great. They work for English and for all the languages, but they shine specially for Latin, I, I mean, for French and Italian. Special dollar symbols. So look at how friendly this 30% off, not the one with the blue, but the one that has these sort of fun strokes right there. That makes you, it, it doesn't look intimidating. It looks friendly. But Donnie's, originals uh look friendly it's only that when the um so what happened with morris fuller benton he made bodoni and that has been the model for a lot of bodonis of the 20th and 21st century so and the reason that it looks more cold is because he actually for his model he used bodoni's uh font called oxford and the oxford font is actually an imitation of dito so it's Bodoni imitating Dito and then Benton imitating Bodoni. So it's sort of is more related to Dito than it is to Bodoni's actual style, a lot of Bodoni's. But his originals, look at how friendly these look and they have some type of Bodoni personality. Now, when I was making this, I listened to a lot of opera and trying to get that, that sense from Bodoni when I was making these. Here's some other things. Here is using the unicase for a label and then the italic. And we talked a little bit, but I love the italics. And then the numbers are super friendly. They go down here and this also has small caps. So this is using only, and you can see how you can get a great design only using Casale by himself. Here I've put him with Terracina, which has a, so a little bit more of the curls, which is from the same book that I showed you. So you also have to check that one out. That's a that's a fun font. It's a it's a it's a little bit more whimsical. Now, so we talked about style, fashion, travel, all those different things in in using when you want to use a bedoni in low contrast settings or white on black. 
Now, here's another situation is is for some reason his italic small caps works feels very nautical to me. Now, it has this great nautical feeling. So I designed this cover here with using it and it is just so fun you type in anything it just has a coastal feel i think of new england pacific northwest of when you want to have that feeling of the old boathouses or 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 things like that that is the the impressions that he that that thing can bring so that is just an overview about what casale is about now he is going to be one of the first ones to be taken off. So if you've liked what you've seen here, uh, if you don't want to miss it, then then uh, then gain it sooner rather than later is what I would recommend because he's not going to be long for this world. And there's no reason not to get it today. And that's because of our 100% money back guarantee now the the reason that i do that is i don't see this as a short transactional one-time thing that i see myself as building these things of building making these building blocks that are that are hopefully useful to you and that you use so i see this more more like building your design together that i that i'm I, I'm, I'm wanting to be a part of whatever design you're making and building that with you, of building a part of that, which are going to be the letter parts of that, um, just like you know someone else is doing the photography and, and, and whatever else like that. So I want to build a relationship with you. So, so, if there's, so if there's anything you don't like about it, about the font, you get it, you, you try it today, uh, and you decide that it's not for you, just email hello at californiatypefoundry.com and we're going to refund that to you. So now we might ask you questions about what it was that you didn't like, but that's not at all. We are going to give you that refund if you don't, if you want that. The only reason is that I want to know what it is that that uh, made you want to return it, so that way I can make my stuff better. So um, another thing that we have for making stuff as a part of the relationship is is I happen I'm I happen to be a tinkerer where I like changing things and tweaking things and all that stuff. Now if you find something that you want to tweak, you want to tweak a symbol or something like that. Our license, now see more details in our EULA because I might not say it quite right here, but our, our license allows you to go in and to, to modify the font or modify the kerning and all that stuff or however you want to do to meet your own style and your own needs. Now, um, what I would ask the, uh, would be, I would love to see uh, what changes you wanted to make because I want to uh, to know that because to, for me to make the best stuff that I need to be in contact with great designers like you who are going to help me become the best that I can be at this. So, uh, so I really appreciate you watching. Uh, pick that up. You don't want to miss it. And I will see you again soon.